So when you open up Outlook 2013 for the first time, this is going to be your overview, especially if you configured an email account, you'll get an inbox. If you don't have an email account, then, well, you won't see it here. In any case, let me do an overview of what you're going to be looking at, the main screen here, every time you open up Outlook by starting, coming up here in the upper left-hand corner, and we'll work our way from left to right and top to bottom. So the first thing you see is the icon or the logo for Outlook, in case if you forget what program you're in, you can see it's got a little O, and then to the right of that, a little envelope for mail, or more specifically, electronic mail. And then to the right of that logo, you have what's called the Quick Access Toolbar. It's called that because you can quickly access any command on it in a single click. And right now we just have two commands, like the undo and the send and receive, to send and receive email. And I'll show you in a later training video how you can customize that by adding more commands to it or even removing them. Then to the right of that, you have what's known as the title bar. You have three titles. One is for the folder that you're currently in or that you have selected. You can see down below it's the inbox as opposed to the sent items, which updates the view. And you can see up here it's now sent items. Let's go back to the inbox to keep it simple. And then to the right of that, the name of the data file is Outlook. And you can see down below in the navigation pane the Outlook data file. And you'll see that you got the inbox up here in your favorites as well as down below there. It just means that you can go ahead and duplicate put them up in your favorites for the ones that you use more often than not without having to go through a bunch of folders down below here. Just put your favorites up here. In any case, so that's the inbox folder that we're at, which is going to be part of the Outlook data file. And then to the right of that is the name of the program. Again, in case if you want to verify that you're in the Outlook program. And then over to the right of that, you've got some help. Click on that if you need some help. You also have what's new to Office 2013, the ribbon display options, which we'll cover later. Then you've got the window options to minimize this down to the taskbar, or restore the window down, or even close out of the program altogether. Then down below that, you have what's known as the ribbon. So on the ribbon, you've got all these commands, but they're broken up by tabs. Because, I mean, if you had a lot of commands that weren't broken up by tabs, it would probably cover half the screen, I guess. That's a lot of commands. In any case, there's some organization, too. So like the Home tab are the more popular commands when it comes to working with Outlook. And you can see that you got the commands like Junk, Cleanup, Delete. It all has to do with deleting messages or cleaning up something that you just don't want around. So notice it's got its own group name. They're part of a groupie here. Hey, I like that. And you got lines that are separating these commands from all the others to saying, okay, we got the delete group. We have the respond team or the respond commands when you want to reply to somebody or reply to everybody that's part of that email or forward along to somebody else. In any case, the response group. So you got your commands broken up into groups, and then if you want to find out what other commands are available on other tabs, like when it comes to sending and receiving, well, come here. There's your send and receive group, download, folder commands, creating a new folder, your new group, uh, different views, arranging, layouts. Let's go back to the Home tab. In fact, one of these tabs is not like the other, and it's this one right here, the File tab. It's in blue. Now notice that when I jump around from one tab to the next, except for the File tab, it keeps the main view open here, the navigation pane and the working area or the main view. But when you click on the file tab, it jumps back to a place that's called the backstage. It's behind the scenes. It's how you can go ahead and customize your Outlook program, like going down to options. And you can go ahead and put in your username and initials when it comes to those features that we'll talk about later on, how it will have your name there that you don't have to type in every single time because you put it in here to personalize your copy of Microsoft Office. So it just doesn't personalize Outlook, but it'll also update if you have other Office applications like PowerPoint, Access, Word, and vice versa. You can go File to Options into Word or Excel. And under the General Category, also personalize it because, remember, it's for Microsoft Office, not Outlook. So it updates and adds your name to all the files and documents you create in Microsoft Office, not just Outlook, PowerPoint, or Access, and so on. Let's click Cancel. So down below the ribbon, you got two sections. You have your navigation pane that I talked about. Then you have your main viewing area. So the navigation pane right now is just about email messages, your inbox, your sent items folder. You got your favorite section. Then you have all the rest. And of course, some of those are copied into the favorites. So you can go to your sent items and it'll update the main viewing area to show you all the different items that I sent off. So if I'm like, hey, I sent Carrie Heffernan an email five weeks ago, and I can't remember if I said this or not. Oh, could I be in trouble? I better check. Your sent items will keep track or make a copy of everything that you sent off, so you can review what you sent and not have to go off your memory, which if you sent hundreds of thousands, you must have quite the memory. Let's go ahead and go back to the inbox. You can you know, do it down here or come up here. 
Again, it's just a copy of what you have down below in your favorites. So it updates the main viewing area. And then you've got your search field if you want to search for specific messages within your main viewing area. You have who it's from, the subject, and when it was received. And then down below that, let's go over to the navigation pane, because right now we're just focusing on the Outlook messages item. Remember, you've got more items like this one right here. I don't know if you can see it, but it's a big long bar with a bunch of little dots. Hey, it looks like this guy up above, this calendar here. That's what it is. And you can hover over it, and new to Outlook 2013 is what's called the hover peak. So when you want to go from like your email messages here, which is highlighted in blue, and you don't want to work on your messages anymore, but you want to go to the calendar, you can go ahead and either just hover over it, and it gives you a peek without leaving the message view here of what's coming up. And it says I've got nothing scheduled today, and it shows me the day, today's date, the 12th. And then I can go ahead and hover over the two dudes, or contacts, and I don't have any contacts yet. Now, when I hover over it, it brings it up, but when I hover off of it, it disappears. So if you want to be able to keep it up when you move your mouse around, then go ahead and right click. And you got two options. You got show the peak and dock the peak. So we have a total of three. We have hover peak when you just hover, it brings it up. When you hover off of it, it disappears. Or if you click show the peak, then it keeps it up even though you move off of it. But when you click off of it, it disappears. Or if you're like, okay, not only do I want to move off of it, but I want to be able to click and work in other parts of my message view to work on emails. Then you got the dock. So let's go ahead and right click. Click on dock the peak. It opens up the task pane and it's up there no matter where you click. It keeps it up until you actually come over here and close out of it. Then you have more options because it couldn't fit all those icons or those folders down below. So I get this ellipsis button. You can click on it and you've got folders and notes, navigation options, shortcuts. In any case, let me go ahead and click off of that. And then down below all that, you have what's called the status bar. So right now the status says that I have zero items in this folder. In other words, I don't have any emails and I'm feeling kind of sad and lonely because nobody sent me an email. And then if you right click anywhere on the status bar, you can customize it. Well, it's got everything set up for you. So the only thing you're basically going to be doing is unchecking. If you don't want to see the number of items in this view, uncheck it and it disappears from the status bar. Go ahead and check it and it reappears. Let me go ahead and click off. And then over to the right, you have your normal view, you have your reading pane view, and you have your zoom feature that when you have some other items that are actually viewable, you can increase the zoom to zoom in. So if the text is really small, it'll enlarge, or if it's too large, you can zoom out. Otherwise, the default's going to be 